Most matches featured on WWE programming usually feature a babyface versus a heel. For decades, this has been embedded into how companies such as WWE portray pro wrestling, and this is unlikely to ever change. WWE relies on the idea that fans will cheer the babyface and they will boo the dastardly heel. However, this sometimes doesn't always go to plan. Sometimes, particularly in modern wrestling, smarts like to overwhelmingly cheer the heel and in turn treat the babyface like they're the most detestable wrestler in the entire company. This can usually create problems for WWE as the narrative they're telling with the match usually goes completely off the rails, but without fail, it always makes for a notable and unique matchup that fans discuss for years to come. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE matches where the fans wanted the heel to win. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. We've also relaunched WrestleGamia, so check that out. Number 10, John Cena vs Triple H, WrestleMania 22. At the main event of WrestleMania 22 saw John Cena defend his WWE title against Triple H. At this point in time, the older members of the WWE fanbase had firmly turned on Cena and they were sick of him as the face of the company, and as a result, the WrestleMania main event made for interesting viewing. The fans were firmly in favor of the heel Triple H to take the win, and this would start a trend for the next decade of Cena being booed in a strong number of his top matches. Even though Cena was booed in the aforementioned WrestleMania 22 match, the match was well put together, and Cena vs The Game certainly warranted the main event spot on the show. Number 9 Chris Benoit vs Randy Orton at SummerSlam 2004 SummerSlam 2004 emanating from Toronto, Canada was a bizarre show in the sense that virtually every babyface in the WWE was booed. Names such as Edge, Eugene and The Undertaker were booed, and it was as if the Canadian fans were trying to cause as much controversy as humanly possible. The crowd responses continued into the main event as Chris Benoit defended the world title against Randy Orton. In a shocking turn of events, Orton would be heavily cheered for the first time in his career and when he pinned Benoit to win his first world title, he received a decent reaction from the audience. It wasn't clear if the fans in attendance were disappointed in Benoit's world title reign, so they wanted a new champion or they were ready to see Orton turn babyface, which would formally happen on Raw the next night. Number 8. Randy Orton vs Triple H Royal Rumble 2005 Speaking of Randy Orton, his 2004-2005 face turn was a total disaster. Orton was uncomfortable in the role and his promos and character work came across as disingenuous. When Orton challenged former mentor Triple H for the world title at the 2005 Royal Rumble, Orton's failure as a babyface character came full circle. The crowd firmly sided with Triple H in the match and this was a wake-up call that WWE badly needed. It was after this matchup that WWE decided that Orton needed to revert back to his villainous persona. Orton would turn heel on the road to WrestleMania 21 and enter into an epic feud with the illustrious Undertaker. Orton would be so good and so convincing in his role as a heel that he would remain a heel for the next five years. Number 7 The Rock vs Goldberg Backlash 2003 WWE were elated when they finally managed to sign Goldberg in 2003. Goldberg was one of WCW's biggest stars and hoped that they would be a great addition for the WWE product, especially in the aftermath of Stone Cold Steve Austin's retirement. Goldberg would be given a major feud to begin his WWE career and this was with a feud with The Rock that would culminate at the 2003 Backlash event. Around this time, The Rock was using his Hollywood Rock persona which some fans claim is the greatest version of The Rock to ever appear on WWE programming. The reactions to Goldberg in the Backlash match started strong, but The Rock's antics as a heel were so incredibly entertaining and funny that the crowd began to cheer for him and boo Goldberg. This would be a bad omen for Goldberg's initial WWE run as they struggled with his presentation and it was no surprise that his run lasted just one calendar year. Number 6 Becky Lynch vs Charlotte Flair Last Woman Standing Evolution 2018 Becky Lynch's heel turn in 2018 was supposed to cement her as a top heel in the women's division. Unfortunately for WWE, it did quite the opposite. The fans loved this new heel character that Lynch was portraying, and she had the Stone Cold effect, where on paper Lynch was a detestable character, but she was so engaging and entertaining that fans couldn't help but love her. When Lynch faced Charlotte Flair in the last women's standing match at the 2018 Evolution event, the crowd treated Lynch like she was the biggest star in the world, as they were into everything she was delivering. Flair was booed throughout the match, which could have been distracting for the multi-time women's champion, but she somehow managed to make it work, and the dynamic enhanced the matchup. Lynch eventually got the win to the sheer delight of the audience, and the match is widely regarded as one of the most acclaimed and beloved women's matches in WWE history. 
Number 5. Batista vs Alberto Del Rio Elimination Chamber 2014 It all went wrong for Batista during his 2014 WWE return. They wanted Batista to return as a heroic babyface, but fans as well as Batista knew that he could deliver his finest work as a heel. In a move that is aged like milk, they persisted with the babyface act and the crowd completely turned on Batista, especially because this came at a time where fans were firmly focused on Daniel Bryan. Batista, following the 2014 Rumble, would face Alberto Del Rio at the Elimination Chamber event and Batista was met with utter hatred from the audience. Del Rio would be cheered throughout the match, which did create for somewhat a compelling watch, but the chemistry between the two seemed slightly off. Del Rio would address the crowd response during an interview with the Austin Chronicle and this is what he had to say. That night, I was the favourite for all of them. I was doing everything to get a boo from the crowd. I was destroying Batista that night, kicking and punching him, taking him to the limit. But the WWE Universe cheers for who they like. Number 4. Edge vs Rey Mysterio Royal Rumble 2008 It's rare for Rey Mysterio to be booed in WWE, but this has happened and most of the incidents have occurred at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Back in 2008, Edge was set to challenge Rey Mysterio for the world title at the Rumble in Madison Square Garden. The MSG crowd is considered to be one of the wildest crowds there is and for whatever reason, the crowd decided to boo Mysterio and cheer for Edge. Despite the shifts in the crowd response, the two worked magic as they always did and had a great match that warranted a place on such a huge WWE card. Number 3. Hulk Hogan vs The Undertaker Survivor Series 1991 Survivor Series 91 featured Hulk Hogan taking on The Undertaker for the WWE title. Nobody could have ever predicted that this was a match in which the crowd would turn on Hogan and cheer for the supernatural character known as the Dead Man. The Undertaker's persona had managed to connect with the audience and they were ready to see him as a top star in the company. The Dead Man's offense was cheered whilst Hogan's repetitive yet over offense was met with loud boos. According to the Dead Man during an interview with Yahoo Sports, the crowd response threw him off as he would never expect the crowd to side with him. You're nervous, and when you do the walkout that night, it threw me off because it was like 60-40, the crowd was behind me. The fans turned me and I was babyface. Here I am trying to be this killer, this scary dude, and you come out and the crowd is leaning towards you. You have to put that out of your mind so you can do business and be what you're supposed to be, but it was amazing. Number 2. Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns, WrestleMania 31 for 80% of Roman Reigns' babyface run in WWE, he was heavily booed throughout his matches and segments and this extended to numerous WrestleMania events, including his very first. For Reigns' first WrestleMania event, he challenged Brock Lesnar for the WWE World title and naturally he was heavily booed and Lesnar was cheered every time he would take Reigns to Suplex City. Although the crowd response wasn't what WWE wanted, the match was well received and it's considered to be one of Reigns' strongest WrestleMania events. This is of course the match which sees Seth Rollins cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase, creating one of the most memorable and celebrated moments imaginable. And number 1. Seth Rollins vs The Fiend Hell in a Cell The Fiend character was red hot in 2019 and WWE made the controversial decision to book The Fiend to challenge Universal Champion Seth Rollins inside a Hell in a Cell. This created problems as they weren't ready to commit to The Fiend world title reign and they didn't want their top babyface on Raw losing the title. Due to both characters being insanely over in their own right, the collision inside Hell in a Cell resulted in the crowd turning on the incredibly popular Rollins in favour of the sinister entity known as The Fiend. The match did so much damage to both characters and it ended in a no contest which shattered the legacy of the once prestigious Hell in a Cell concept. The fallout from the match was so bad that they were forced to put the title on The Fiend in a rematch and they were forced to completely cancel all creative plans for Rollins and implement a heel turn. During an interview with TalkSport, Rollins talked about the impact of the match and he would state that he was dead in the water following it. At the end of the day, there's no real nice way of putting it. I was dead in the water after Hell in a Cell and a lot of that was nothing that I could control. I was left out there as a bit of a scapegoat in that situation and there was nothing I could do about it, but it was one that I had to face the scrutiny. And really no one cared about me at that point in time or about how I was feeling or about how I really went into that moment, that night and everything that went along with it. No one cared about Seth Rollins and how it affected me or how I was involved in any shape or form, so the writing was on the wall at that point. It was time to hunker down and make some changes and some of those are tough lessons to learn. Well, there you have it folks, 10 WWE matches where fans wanted the heel to win. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.